Hey beautifuls, welcome to your reading. So today we are going to find out what do they tell their friends about you? So what do they say behind your back? So it's almost like we're going to be in on their conversation and know exactly what they're talking about. So it's going to be really cool. Um, if you guys have never been to a pick a card, what you are going to do is you're going to pick one of these crystals. Whatever one you like, whatever one you're drawn to. So this one is group number one, group number two, and group number three. And I'll put the timestamps down below and you guys can go there and I will see you in your reading. Hi, beautiful pile number one. Let's go ahead and jump in and find out what do they tell their friends about you. Okay, so we have the seven of pentacles. The Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, the Lovers, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, and I'm just going to pull a little bit more. So what do they tell their friends? Hmm. Okay, so we have supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. And we have outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer. Okay, so this person actually communicates a lot about you and they talk a lot about you to their friends. But I'm also getting that they're kind of secretive about you. I feel like they really hold you close to their heart. And there's a little bit of energy here that they could be a little bit jealous and they may not want to go around and tell everybody about you just because you are very important to them and that they don't want just anybody and everybody getting you and they just hold you very, very close to their own heart. So over here we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this person really feels like there's an energy about you that's a very hard worker. So whether you're in school or you're in work or you're a mom or you're doing, and it could be anything like that, just something that you are working and you're doing well, this person really admires and communicates that. So they tell their friends like, yeah, like you, this person is always up to something, always busy, working out, doing well. And it's a really big turn on for them because when someone's busy and when someone has their own life, it makes them just more interesting. It makes them more powerful and it makes them even more beautiful. And so they also really communicate how much of a pure soul you are with the Queen of Cups. So this person tells their friends what a good listener you are, like how compassionate you are. And something very, very interesting that they tell their friends is they say that you're hella psychic, okay? They say that this person can pick up all my vibes. This person can read me like nobody else. Even, you know, if you're just communicating on the phone or like texting or whatever it is, you are so good at knowing what is going on because the queen of cups she is so intuitive and then with this supernatural otherworldly being right here that's you this is your energy so you are extremely psychic you pierce into the energy of knowing how people feel what people want what are their true intentions behind what they're communicating so and then we have the eight of pentacles in the middle so i feel like one of the things that they communicate is i actually feel like sometimes you can be hard to like reach whether you're busy or whether you just are like doing your own thing this person really wants to have one-on-one -on -one time with you because we have the lovers so 
this person, they communicate and they tell like their mom or they tell other people around them, like, I really care about this person. Like, it's not just a hookup. It's not just a fling. I can really see like long-term commitment coming here and we have great communications. Um, the sexual energy between us is just off the hook. Like, it's just crazy. And then we have the seven of wands. So very interesting. <clears throat> this person wants to spend more time with you because we have outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer. So I feel like this person doesn't want you to be alone. I feel like they don't want to be alone. And I feel like they want to just be with you as much as they possibly can. So that's something they communicate. And they really don't care like what other people think. They want to be with you. Another thing that they communicate with others is that you guys have very, very beautiful eyes. So your eyes capture the heart of other people's soul. So I'm not really looking at so much the color, but I'm looking at the the energy of these eyes. I'm seeing I'm seeing sweetness and submissive, but I'm seeing determination and strength at the same time. So I feel like your guys' eyes is something that really captures others around you. Also, to someone they're close to, they say that they really like your shoulders and they really like your hands. So they think your shoulders are very sexy. If you ever wear jewelry or you're ever like in your feminine at all, they really like that about you. Um, also, they just think you have a very, very cute face. I feel like you guys could have plump lips, like even if you feel like they're small or whatever, like they're still very cute and they're very sexy. So your lips are a really big emphasis and there could also be like a teasing energy that you have a little bit and they find that to be super sexy and they find that to be a turn on. And um, <clears throat> let me just feel the cards a little bit. I like to do this to really sense what is coming. Okay, so this person, um, they also say that they're really willing to fight for you and they're really willing to do whatever it takes to be connected to you, be in a relationship with you, just they don't want to let you go. I can tell that you do have some people that are a little bit jealous of you. So if we look at her, she has these other energies that are kind of after her in a way, you know, and, and it's because you're so pure. And it's because you're so sexy and it's because you're so unique and you're not afraid to go your own way. You're not afraid to be this free person. And so it really brings out a lot of fire in this person with the seven of wands. So they're really willing to protect you. So this person is very much a protector and a provider and they want to do that for you. Okay, guys, I hope that connected. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I love to have you here and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Hey, beautifuls. Okay, so we're totally going to find out what the conversations are, what they're communicating about you and what they're saying about you. So we have the 10 of wands, the ace of cups, the two of wands, the five of swords, and the lovers. Okay, so automatically, this person has a lot of fire towards you right in the beginning. Um, it sets a kind of sets it up for the reading we have the Ten of Wands. So this person, it's very interesting, but they actually they feel like time is ticking, and they feel like they're getting closer and closer to wanting something more serious and wanting more commitment towards you. Or if you're in a relationship. They want to just take it even to the next level. Like if you're not married, they want to get married. If um, you're not living together, they want to live together. Because this person, they actually really want to provide for you. They really want to protect you. We have the Ten of Wands. So they really want 
all of your problems or anything difficult to be on their shoulders. So they communicate this to their friends around them that I'm really ready to the, to be in the next stage with this person. I really am overflowed with emotion by this person with the Ace of Cups. It's kind of funny because this person really has no chill on saying how they feel about you. They're actually really like would yell it on top of a rooftop. Like they really don't give a shit. Like they like you. They love you. They care about you. And it's like they have no shame in just wanting to be with you, wanting to support you. A huge emphasis here is they really want to support you and they have plans for you in the future because we have the two of wands right here in the middle. So this person, they tell their friends around them like, yeah, like I want to do this with her. For some of you guys, this person actually wants to take a trip with you. They want to kind of lavish you in what they feel like you deserve. And I feel like they feel like you deserve so much because in both of these cards, we're holding a cup and we're holding like this crystal ball type thing. And I feel like they feel like you are their world and they're holding you like so delicately. So they speak about you very delicately, de <laughs> shit, <laughs> delicately, and they communicate about you very softly and very sweetly because they care so much about you. So with the five of swords, if anyone has ever said anything or questioned them or questioned the relationship or anything like that, they are so quick to fire back. They are so quick to hold their ground and to protect you. Nobody is going to mess with you, group number two. Oh, hell no, not on this person's watch. They really care about you. Even if they have times where maybe they're like, oh, she's pissing me off or he's pissing me off. It's okay like if they communicate it, but it's not cool if anybody else does because you, I feel like they feel like you, you are theirs because over here we have the lovers. So even for some of you guys, if you're not really dating, it's like they still feel like you guys are each other's. And so they feel so much love towards you and they feel like they actually really want long lasting commitment towards you. So they don't uh, want to just do a hookup or be here. They truly want long lasting commitment and they want marriage. So very interesting. So we have nightmare, psychic protection, shield, bad dreams. So this person really protects you, okay? We have protection here and shield. So I was really feeling that they, you are something that's so precious to them. And they're literally willing to, to put themselves out there and to protect you from whatever it is. They don't want you to be hurting. They don't want you in pain. And this is something they communicate with their friends about you that... They are really willing to come in and save you. I feel like when I see characters on horses um, that I'm getting like, you know, that's, uh, that vibe like where it's just a Disney princess and the, the prince saves them. And so this person really has that strong feeling towards you. So then we have discipline, training, consistency, practice. So this person says that you have... Um, I think for some of you guys, you're really doing something right now, whether you're just got out of school or you're working, maybe doing summer school or you're working out or you're simply just working on something. Some of you guys might like cooking or baking. Um, there's something that you're very good at. It could even be music because she's doing music here. So it's going to be different for different people, but you have this oh, an amazing like um, resilient energy where you're, you're able to train, you're able to be consistent, you're able to practice. And this person really looks up to you in this way and they're really proud of you. So this person is really proud to say that they're, that you guys are either in a relationship or talking or just, you know, really close to each other. This person feels like, um, that you have so much potential. I feel like you guys have so much potential to go places and to do things. They also say that they really like your hair. So I feel like your hair is different or unique. Maybe it's like naturally very straight or naturally very curly or whatever it is. Your hair is this huge thing about you that people notice. And that's what they are really were captivated by when you guys first met. Also, your guys' eyes are like have a glossy look to them. So I feel like you guys look very healthy. I feel like 
your skin is very pretty. So they talk about your skin a lot and your eyes and your hair. So these are really big emphasis on your body. Um, and this person overall just knows that you have goals and you have plans. But it's funny because this person really feels like they would want to be the provider and the protector for you. That you don't have to go out and you don't have to work your ass off, you know. That they would really be there for you and they would really provide for you. Okay, you guys, I hope that connected with you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please consider subscribing. I love to have you here and I love when you like and comment. It means so much to me. Thank you. Hey, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and find out what do they tell their friends about you. Group number three. Okay, so we have the six of cups, the knight of cups. Oh my gosh. You have this person literally wrapped around your finger. Ooh, seven of swords. The world reversed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And another Cups card, the Four of Cups. Let me just take a second to feel the energy in the cards. Okay, so to start it out, I can see that this person has... I don't know why I want to say this, but very dear feelings for you. Um, they're very sweet. They're very innocent. The Six of Cups is very nostalgic card. It's like, you know, your best memories that you had in elementary school or middle school or high school. And it's like that true love, that first love, that really innocent and precious energy. But what's so interesting is this also, this is also ruled by Scorpio, which is very sexual. And I'm sensing a lot of sexual energy in this card in the, all of these cards in this whole reading so this person really feels like you're so innocent like you're so pure but they're so sexually into you they're sexually addicted to you so they tell their friends that you're so pure you're so pretty and they love the connection that you get because you really make them feel like a kid again but you also turn them on like freaking crazy okay I know I'm sounding dramatic. It's just the energy that's coming out. You drive this person nuts sexually. It really turns them on. You really bring out their actual masculine side and they really want to kind of dominate you. And they do tell their friends this, which is so interesting. They do tell their friends that they have a lot of sexual energy towards you and their friends are cool with it. Like they're down to listen. I can tell that they listen. I, I can tell that there's a fun energy here with, with the friends. So then we have the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so <clears throat> actually, this person wants to say something to you. This person really wants to give you a message. So I feel like this person, they are telling their friends that they want to offer you something. I feel like they're saying that they want to offer you this here with the six of six of cups i feel like they really want to offer you the world or offer you a trip somewhere or offer you just like a night together spending time together also for some this is just for some they want to drink with you they want to kind of like drink with you and have you kind of get like numb to um just kind of letting that inner freak out because i feel like you guys do have a freaky side within you because so interesting because this card's like so innocent but on the inside it's like rolled by scorpio we know scorpio we know the eighth house and we know the sexual energy that emits off scorpio energy with their eyes their body movement their language so i feel like you guys could have scorp scorpionic energy in your chart it could even be a strong eighth house so sometimes you have to look at the whole entire chart and even see you know you could even have pluto in the seventh house which is that plutonic sexual relationships that are, are tug a tug of war so we have the seven of swords right in the middle so there is a little bit of holding back a little bit of sneakiness and a little bit of not telling the truth that they tell their friends so i feel like they tell their friends how much they care about you how they're sexually into you how you're so pure and how they really want a relationship but they don't go that deep into telling them their whole entire world okay so they don't tell them 
tell their friends like your secrets okay they don't tell them things that you wouldn't want others to know so whatever you tell them in confidence and you keep um that you are just keep they keep to themselves but an interesting message that i'm picking on picking up on is i feel anger here in this reading and i feel like there's a little bit of closed off energy with the four of cups so um maybe you hurt them maybe they hurt you i can see that there is a little bit of closed off vibes i feel like this person wants to be closer to you than because they have so much to offer you so he's offering uh this girl like this flower and he wants to come offer you this cup so and then there's this offer and that could be you not accepting this offer so this person tells their friends that they really want to be more than hookup buddies or just they want to be closer they want to keep moving forward and see what you guys could be so then we have the call of the night daring adventure excitement so interesting this card comes out all the time in all of my readings i feel like it's just the energy it must be like the subscriber energy maybe my energy with your guys's energy too but um with this this person feels like you're daring that you are adventurous that you're ex you're exciting and that's the kind of feelings they tell their friends that they get from you so they feel very excited when they're around you they feel adventurous they feel sexually excited too um but yeah guys we have redemption absolute absolution forgiveness penance she's so pretty she's just gorgeous and i feel like that is i'm sorry but i had to go to the picture i love these cards because i love the pictures um but you're so pretty and that's what they tell their friends so you're super sexy you have beautiful shoulders really pretty hands like very delicate and just this beautiful, almost pouty look sometimes. And see, you have very glossy, your eyes are very glossy. They're very healthy looking. You are very healthy looking. And so with that, you look very like um, fertile. So that could be another energy that this person wants to have a kid with you. They want to have a baby with you. And they want to move on to the next phase with you. So, and... They want your forgiveness here. I was feeling like there is something going on here where it's like, no, forgive me. So the cards are connecting to each other and trying to tell us a story. So um, they do tell their friends that they want more and they don't want any games or anything sneaky like the Seven of Swords. Okay, guys, I hope that connected with you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a big thumbs up. I love to see your likes and your comments. It makes me super happy. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.